hey guys welcome to this video in this video i'm going to show you how can you create a very nice neon effects for your text and logo easily in after effects without any third party plugins so guys before jumping into after effects i have rebranded polygon motion channel new logo new cover and everything is new so if you haven't subscribed please subscribe to polygon motion channel let's get started so in here, as you can see, I'm in After Effects. I'm using After Effects uh, 2019. It's a, a, a little bit uh, older version, but you can use any uh, any other uh, After Effects version, 2021 and other versions. So uh, let's create a new composition. Now let's uh, just rename this composition to text or anything else, maybe Neon Effect. So now we have a blank composition. The first thing that I want to do is just create a new text. For example, I want to type neon effects. Where is X? Okay. Now, just to scale it up a little bit, you see that I'm using the, uh, a font called Beyond that you can uh, download for free. Just Google Beyond font and you can uh, download it for free and use it. But the first thing that I want to do is just go to Layer and choose Precompose. And here, just type uh, text one. Why I'm doing this? Because uh, it gives us this flexibility to change this text uh, later on. If you, for example, if you want to use this uh, this type of effect uh, for your uh, upcoming projects, for different projects, you can simply change the text in here in this composition without uh, getting weird effects uh, and, and and getting error of uh, some types. Just crop this composition like this and go to composition crop come to region of interest now we have this so let's go back here let me just close this one the first thing that we have to do is just apply an effect called Vegas Vegas is a very powerful effect let's just apply this on, the, uh, on our text and here you see that we have different parameters. The first thing that we have to do is to go to image cont contours and in input layer, just choose text one composition. So now, as you can see, nothing happened. Why? Because if I come to rendering in here, we, we, the blending mode is set to over. We don't want that. We want transparent. As you can see now, we have uh, different kinds of segment around our text. We don't want too many segments in here. How can we change that? How can we decrease that? Go to segments and segments, as you can see that we have to do two segments. Just lower this to one. Now, as you can see, uh, we have uh, a little bit of fade off uh, effect, fade out effect in here in these uh, uh, areas. How can we change that? Go to rendering and here we have different uh, controllers for different position, uh, different pine position. For example, if I change this, as you can see, I can increase the visibility of these lines in here. And like that, we can do just to fully uh, stroke uh, text. But I want to leave that just around this, this area because we want that cyberpunk uh, style text and neon effects. So now, uh, uh, we can just change a uh, width of this text as well for example this one and and here in length we can as you can see we can change the length and trim out trim in these text very easily so now let's just animate this let's uh, go back and in here around this area set this to zero and it's completely gone we have to create a keyframe in here create a keyframe go on maybe uh, one second and nine eighty frame eighteen frame and bring back this to one now if I play this you see that we have a very nice right on effect so press you on the keyboard to toggle down the, these keyframes and now we can simply make it a little bit uh, interesting Select this, go to keyframe assistant and choose easy ease. Go to graph editor and just make it a little bit cool. So if I play this, as you can see, it's a start of 
very fast and then slow it down. As you can see, we have uh, this stroke coming from from one direction, but we don't want that. We want a random offset of these uh, these uh, lines. Uh, how can we do that? So if I go to uh, rotation and under underneath of rotation, we have random face. So enable this one, and if I play this, you see that we have a random stroke, random animation. It's very good. And in rotation, I can simply rotate these lines as well. For example, we can create a very nice effect if I create a keyframe in here and go a little bit in six seconds and change the angle. And if I play this, you see that we have a very nice and cool effect. So I think our animation looks good. The, the next thing that we have to do is just add glow. It doesn't look quite like like a neon effects. It just is, it, it's just a stroke. So type glow in the effect on preset panel and drag and drop the glow on this text. In glow properties, uh, let me just uh, add a four a four color gradient, four color gradient effect. Apply it before the glow. Now let's just adjust these spines. Very nice. You can simply change the, the color as well on here. And now let's go to glow. Adjust this glow radius like this. As you can see, the glow is not affecting this here because we have a very dark color in here. Uh, if I change this one, as you can see, very nicely. Uh, just to try to use uh, brighter colors. So just duplicate this, Control D, select the glow effect, Control D, and you see that we have a very view effect in here, but you have to adjust this, like this one. As you can see, we can change the uh, radius, and we have a very cool like, kind of backlight uh, effect in here very nice and maybe a little bit low and under intensity so now as you can see we have a very cool effect in here it looks cool but we have to add some 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 more extra detail just duplicate this Control d this layer delete the glow to effect delete this one as well delete the four color gradient and change the color to white and select the text one, normal, uh, go to blending option and choose add. Uh, let me re uh, rename this white. And go to effect and preset, add a fast blur. And just uh, a value of 13 is kind of cool. And maybe bring down the opacity a little bit. Now, you see that we have a very cool effect, but we want we want to add some flickering effect to give it a little bit realism. Uh, as you can see in this example, if I move on, you see that we have a very good uh, flickering effect. Uh, so for flickering, uh, just uh, uh, choose this the first text one uh, uh, pre-com. Toggle down the opacity by pressing T and create a. a keyframe in here select this keyframe and choose toggle old keyframe now come in here now go a little bit farther for example in this area and lower down the opacity like this and go and just do the same in here we have to bring up the opacity a little bit and then bring it down and finally 200 now if I play this you see that it's a little bit slow but if I just adjust these keyframes to make it a little bit faster because flickering of it is very fast it's not slow still very fast just like this and by holding alt and just dragging see that we can make the space between keyframes shorter now it's cool so now we want to just 
copy this and paste it in here. Paste it in here as well. So we have created flickering effect just for this text, but what about this white light? All we, all we need to do is just copy this, select opacity, control C, and go to white light opacity and just paste it in here. As you can see, now we have a very nice flickering effect. So now this effect was for text. How can we apply this effect for low? Very simply, just by copying this, uh, this, uh, these effects in here and applying it on our low. So let me create a new composition. New composition, logo. Now uh, I want to drag and drop my logo. For example, this logo. You can use any type of logo, but make sure to uh, have a transparent logo. Uh, otherwise, the effect the, the the effect is not going to work. So this this is my logo. And what I'm going to do in here is just come in text neon effects, text one, and copy all of these effects, control C, and come back to logo. In here, just paste it, all of the effect. Paste all of the effect in here in effect and presets. What I'm going to do in here is just go to input layer and choose logo P. Very cool. And make sure to uh, change the channel to alpha, like this and change the color maybe very nice and uh, just change the width of it a little bit as you can see very cool now as you can see without any mask without any any kind of manual work we have created a very nice effect for our text and logo at the end i want to uh, show you guys a trick for 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 uh, speeding up your workflow by creating or converting this if these effects to a preset so let me show you guys what I mean if I go to logo P and go to effect control just select all of these effects all of these four effects and go to animation save animation preset choose the location for example here in this top neon effect and Okay, now let me create a new composition. You have your low in here and go to animation, apply animation in preset, select the neon effects and open. Now you can see that we have created by, by just one click, we have this neon effect. It's very easy and very simple. So guys, that was it. I hope you enjoyed from this tutorial and if you have any question or suggestion, feel free to reach me out. Feel free to uh, write your comment down below in the, uh, in the comment section. And also uh, stay tuned for other uh, tutorials for After Effects, Premiere and other softwares. If you haven't subscribed, please uh, click on subscribe button and turn on the uh, bell notification icon. And my name is Shayer and we will see you next time.